Cue the music. Welcome to the Sofa Kingdom Podcast, early morning edition, where we need lots of fucking coffee. <laughs> I'm your host, Nelson. And I almost heard Ian. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. His, his, his mic is down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there oh, wait, 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 wait. There, there we go. There we go. That's better. Woo! I reiterate, oh. early morning, lots of coffee edition, where Eddie doesn't give Ian any <laughs> no mic for Ian. volume. Well, it's, it's okay. any, any the, also, welcome to the Sofa King yeah. podcast, where we have no tablecloth, because <laughs> we also spilled fucking coffee off of it. I was so told, enjoy our life. No, no, I was I was told that I need super absorbent tablecloths. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Do I mean, these you know, things even fucking exist? I, I'm sure at like yeah, Home Goods or yeah. something. Hey, oh, just... sure, they called raincoats. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's repellent. You want it to absorb it? Yeah, so it just mm-hmm. hold it in. Magically hold it in. goes away. Thank just so you. we can change it after the episode. Yes, so yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> even if we would have like cleaned it up and threw it back on, it would have smelled like coffee bean. <laughs> In this room, because this Death Wish coffee, yo, this shit right here. I it, won't even touch it. It has a very distinct smell to it. I mean, I'm it's, over here drinking like a 300 milligram rain, and I still won't <laughs> touch Death Wish fucking coffee. Like, that shit. It's delicious. Black, no sugar. You no, can see time. No milk. It's just, yo, <laughs> if you need to pick me up. I don't, I don't fuck with Death, Death Wish coffee. coffee. Yeah. Not Sponsor that you're sponsoring me. us. Sponsor us. Yeah. Or Rain <laughs> Energy Drink, for that matter. <laughs> if half Thor Bjornsson is listening. Uh, or third brand... Uh, water from Publix. Yeah, Publix, <laughs> Publix water. That's a yeah. that's a sponsor. I wouldn't yeah. mind getting behind. No, if shit, Publix water is good, man. Uh, yeah, it's no, great. it is. It's actual real spring water. I got some solid sandwiches and in there. Like, they do. Public <laughs> subs. Pub subs are like a a like a Florida a heritage staple, thing. For yeah. sure, for sure. No, my daughter goes to Colorado. She's They'll in fight the you Air in Force. They'll fight you. In and Clemson when she comes Publix. back here, she the first thing she wants to do is get a pub sub. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking wild. It's fucking no, wild. no, no grocery store you know that I've been to anywhere in the country has a sandwich that compares. Yeah. That's right. Now, speaking of grocery stores, goddamn the prices in grocery stores these yeah. days. Yeah. Oh man, bro, it's like buying a house. Like you going in there, like <laughs> you might as well sign for a new mortgage. You're like, yeah, I'll have a loaf of bread. Oh, sir, yeah. you you mean a slice? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you clearly mean a slice. Yeah. You don't have loaf money. Yeah. <laughs> He's asking for a bottle of Don Perignon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It, it's They're like, we got a we got a loafer, guys. Come on over here. Check it out. Everybody come look at the come loaf look guy. look at the loafer. Oh, he wants a loaf. Oh, loaf of bread. Hilarious. What do you think? You are a it's, rapper? It's literally, <laughs> it's a, literally twice as much to fill my gas tank now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Oh, for sure. It's like that scene in, uh, is it Romeo Must Die? With DMX, he walks into like... You know, like the Lamborghini shop to buy a Lamborghini, and the guy's like, oh, you want to test drive the Lamborghini? No, sir. <laughs> he calls his homie up. He's got, like, bags of money. He's like, oh, I'll work with this guy. Fuck you. Sales going to him. Yeah, exactly. That's how I feel when I buy, like, a loaf of bread at Publix. <laughs> Fuck you. I'll go with this guy. <laughs> My favorite part is seeing how angry the older people are in the grocery store. It's great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If, I, if, I, if I see one who's, like, pissed off when he's looking at, like, the price of, like, chips or something, and I'll like say something out loud like, "Woo, stuff's getting expensive." <laughs> and then, and then you, you cry oh, as yeah. you walk away, like it, it is getting expensive. Well, I feel bad for him. He remembers, he, rem- he remembers a better time. Yeah, yes, yeah. He's oh, back yeah. To a better yeah. Time. yeah, I hate that. Like that's the ultimate. Like you know, you're feeling old moment. Like when you're like you're sitting there with your friends, you're like, I remember quarter water, <laughs> bags of candy for a dollar. Now you can't, the dollar store, you can't yeah, get a dude. stick of gum yeah. for a dollar. The, the dollar store is no longer a dollar. Getting yeah. like ten airheads, man. I remember that you'd ride your bike. I used to ride my bike like up, like I lived down in a fucking valley yes. growing up in Pennsylvania. So I'd pedal uphill and I'd go to McDonald's get like fucking like burgers <laughs> for like fifty cents. Fuck yeah, yeah, and like you'd go to the dollar store and you could get like ten airheads for a dollar, like ten. Like, yep, just, like, ten cents a piece. Yeah. Here you go, like. Yo, even, even not anymore. No. Even going to the movies, right? I think when we do like early morning, early morning matinees, it was like four bucks. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, get yeah. in to see a movie. Now it's like eighteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to a premiere in the evening at like one of these bigger th- like theaters yeah. that we always see, like the premieres, that yeah, oh, yeah, it's I mean you're paying fifteen bucks a head. I mean in Pennsylvania, no, nothing cheaper. If you were really desperate, you could have gone to the Philly place that had the theater, and the early morning matinee, it was two bucks. Yeah. Now. Was the sh- the seat uncomfortable? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Was the theater tiny? Yeah. Was oh. the screen kind of dim? Mm-hmm. But you saw the movie. But did it, oh. did it smell <laughs> like dirty mop water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yes, it did. But yeah. hey, hey, you could you could still go see a movie for like seven eight bucks. Yeah. You got to go to the one in Wellington, the Wellington Theater. Yeah. But 
kind of like what Ed said. Yeah. Your fucking recliner ain't going to work. Yeah, that's right. You, you know, you're, you're yeah. going to be in a box. It's definitely a fire <laughs> death trap. Like, I mean, if a fire starts, you're dying. Yeah, yeah you're, you're dying. fucking dying. Now, yeah. one good thing is they had really good food, so you could get some good food and then go down and sit and watch. So it wasn't like you yeah. were in there with popcorn. You're in there with a cheesesteak, right. oh, wow. sitting yeah. back, relaxing as best uh, you could. Speaking of food in a movie theater. <laughs> Were you guys the sneak me in kind of, like when you were younger? Did Every you? Oh, yeah. I still, <laughs> to this day, yes. if I take a girl on a date, I, I, I judge a lot about her character by the size of the bag she brings with her to the movie theater. <laughs> like if you get in the car, and, and if I say we're going to get, see a movie and you get in the car and you got a fucking duffel bag, you got, I, you're, you're the one. You're I the know one. Okay. You're, you're, okay. <laughs> but now, when is it too much? Never. I mean, <laughs> so, like, what if it's a joke what to if, see how much? I mean, it, I, what I if she busts out a full meal? No. I want hey, a girl to show. Up, I want a girl showing up with snow caps, duct taped on her triceps, <laughs> just like fucking like. It, it's relegated go ahead, to, pat me down. to their pat skill. Me down. Their skill within how much they can sneak in. Yeah, okay. It's all right. Okay. Can, do you know how much you can sneak in without making noise? Because I want you to sneak some shit in, but I also don't want to hear. Okay. Yes, all right. Exactly. All right. As we're walking but around. Right. This is Sky. Right. Right. Your professionalism is taken into account absolutely okay. okay but then here's the next question what if she brings smelly food oh is no that, is that is that is that a bad sign of a bad like, no that she brings that, in like tuna fish sandwiches listen bro, listen bro. if you're at work and you got somebody that's microwaving their fish from last night oh. fuck you don't oh, yeah, do no, that they're, they're you, nobody they're wants assholes. that person bro, around right. but if they brought <laughs> let's, let's say she brought like a bunch of tuna fish sandwiches no my, my, into the theater bro my, my ex-girlfriend <laughs> One time we went to go see a movie, and she—I had no idea she had done this, but she fucking pulled out like a thing of pasta <laughs> that, she had, that she had warmed up on the way to the movie theater. She had warmed it up, stuck it in her purse, and like literally, she opened it like it's fucking—it's uh-huh. pasta, bro. It's like penne <laughs> and sausage, yeah. and I'm like, are you eating like pasta with a fork right now in this fucking thing? She like literally looks at me, and as she looks at me, she pulls a bottle of wine out of a fucking purse <laughs> and starts to pour it into a paper cup she had brought. And I was like, "This girl." <laughs> She's like, "Not only did I bring pasta, no, I brought, I, I brought a, a 2017 Cabernet." Like, I was like, "You gotta she's, be shitting me." She's got a cup and she's swishing it like. Bro, she, and she didn't even oh, answer yeah. my question. I said, "Are you eating fucking pasta?" And she pulled out wine. That was her answer. Her answer was to pull the bottle of wine. I was like, "Oh." Oh, that's that's the some Discord Scarface. Face. That's some Scarface shit right this, there. This bro. was not this was not a empty theater. This Fuck. was not an empty no, theater. No, no, no. I was no. like, oh my god, like, <laughs> this kid over here is eating popcorn. You know, fucking this girl is eating whatever. No, because one time we went with a friend, and I will Bolognese. not say her name. I won't say Veronica. But we're all there. We're we're watching a movie. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't say Veronica. The person who will not be named Veronica right. pulls out Tupperwares of like full on meals, like not enough. <laughs> Not, it's, it, it, it wasn't just for her. She's like, oh, we're, we're going with like 10 people. She's like, I brought enough for everyone. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm looking at her like, if you get me kicked out of Avengers Endgame for some fucking beef raviolis, we going to war. <laughs> now, she did have a wide selection of candy, and she did manage to sneak everything in, and nobody fucking knew until the credits started at the beginning of the movie. See, see, that's impressive. So high it level is. of skill. That high was level, impressive. High level of, of skill for sure. So she showed up with a whole buffet for, and nobody for knew. And, yeah. see, and that's what that, say, the girl who will not be named Veronica. <laughs> that is an excellent fucking, that's, that's what we're right. talking about. That, that's exactly what we're talking about. Wild shit. Kudos to your sneaking in <laughs> skills. But full course meals and dessert <laughs> and candy. <laughs> It's when they pull a 12-inch pub sub out of somewhere. And you're like, wait a minute. Oh, where was that? Wait, I'm not yeah, eating yeah, that. Wait a second. I'm not eating that yeah, one. Where, where, well, Somebody it, it smell that wrapper. It is a pub sub. <laughs> it huh? is a pub sub. Uh, what? Oh, God. Well, that's a different kind of impression. <laughs> that changes the game a little bit. Like, that's a thinker. <laughs> that's like Margo. No, when... when that's a Margo. When we were, Where'd you get that fire hydrant? <laughs> <laughs> Who will be joining us next week? She was going to join us this week, but it was it was very early, and we've been so we have time to, to prepare. Do, I have time to yes. get my I have time to get my rabies shots. Do a long <laughs> podcast with her, and then also do some skits that we've been also trying 
Yeah, two dudes. I still to have that full body there. suit. Like in my, Bro. I, it reminds like people people that come over and see that suit in my closet. They're like, "The fuck are you doing?" Like, um, it's for work. Yeah, it's for yeah. work. Yeah. Please tell me the crotch isn't cut out. Of <laughs> no, it's it an in, it's no. intact body suit. Yeah, and it, I it, it, it didn't come that way, but it you is. Should now. proudly hang it on the wall so it always is visible. Yes, yes. It's, Next yeah. week, it gentlemen, disturbs people when they see it. We're gonna go in on some skits. We got like three of them, really good ones. So I think I'm excited. I'm excited to sacrifice my dignity and Me morality too. for our <laughs> personal I, gain. I I'm, plan on looking like complete asshat. <laughs> I, I hope it gets shared many times. I hope I lose a job opportunity. Yes. I, I look forward That's to That's how it. you know success. That is how success is measured in the United States. <laughs> well, I, like, I am devoted to the cause. That's yeah, right. I, I am devoted to the cause. I am willing to sacrifice. It says here in your person. resume, you were fired for TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Care to explain? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sir, sir, what is a TikTok? Uh, you got 30 seconds? Cue the film. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit A. Exhibit B. <laughs> I thought you said the crotch wasn't cut out. <laughs> it, was, it was chewed out. Yeah, it was chewed out. <laughs> no scissors were involved. No scissors, were involved. <laughs> no, no scissors necessary. No genitalia was harmed in the making of this film. <laughs> Shit. All right, all right. So let's let's jump into something more relevant. Shall more we? relevant. Oh, more relevant. This has upset me. It pissed me off. Uh oh. Uh oh. I I'm going to be one of those fanboys that jumps online and hopes that I can help destroy the making of this film. The Joker <laughs> Two is the yeah. musical uh-huh. featuring Lady perhaps Gaga. Lady Gaga. I don't want it. I don't uh, want it. I don't I want, want a fucking it. Star is Born with Joaquin it. Phoenix. I, I don't it. fucking want it. I don't want Lady Gaga version cookies of Harley Quinn oh. hitting the supermarket because it. motherfuckers want to see a musical for the joke. Does Has anybody asked for this? No. Have you? No. Nope. off the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said Joker face, Joker face. <laughs> if anything, it's it's one thing if, yeah, he's maybe he's, because he's delusional. Maybe there's a scene or two where he's in his head and everything's a little <laughs> wacky. It's a musical. But if they're intending to make the entire production a musical... That might, be, that might miss the mark. That, that I'm miss not, the mark. I think it's going to fail yeah, miserably. The, no. the people that go to see that kind of a film. There are superhero films um, that can placate to a lighter sense with some musicals. Those but two. a dark... No film, no, that's such that's, as the Joker, like a psychological. I mean, you thriller. can make a dark musical because Sweeney Todd wasn't bad, but I mean, I, right? But you, that's a hard one to turn into a, a musical, right? Would right. it do better on Broadway? Yeah, would it do yeah. good to not make it? <laughs> I think so. But well, how do listen. you how do you go from the dark? Like, here's my here's my question with it. Like, like I'm I'm on board for anything. I mean, whatever. It, you want to be creative? Go ahead. If you want to tank your franchise anymore, DC, you go ahead. <laughs> but I mean, how do you go from the dark? twisted like literal best example of mental health issues mm-hmm. example mm-hmm. that was the joker a masterpiece yep. right joaquin phoenix won the fucking oscar yes mm-hmm. deservedly how so. do you go from that to a musical it, it, it's a it, hell of a shit it's, it, a, it is. it's a very big shit is, is he trying to get an egot is that what he's trying to do maybe he needs a musical under under his belt to <laughs> you know but look he could go on broadway i mean I, I'm, I'm fine with lady gaga taking a different approach on harley quinn just because yeah. lady gaga i mean we she proved she was a good actress oh yeah start. no yeah. She, 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 there's she, no she doubt in her, her singing or her acting yes right it, it just doesn't it doesn't make sense to yeah. me no for the for the franchise for the film also like I don't know. Margot Robbie to me is Harley Quinn at this point. Yeah, yeah, she's just and, a stone cold fox. I could watch yeah. her pick locks with her feet all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, a moment of silence. Okay, thank all right, you. We're back. All right, yeah, <laughs> Lady Gaga <laughs> is is a great actress, is a great singer, but it's it, it, to me, I don't want to see it. The problem it's a is no it's, it's interest a shift. in it it's whatsoever. But, but DC is still a mess with all their movies, and right now it's even more so. <clears throat> Because the, the whole Flash movie is is, is recorded. Yes, yeah. Ezra Miller is missing. Is this the yes. update that you were telling me? About? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. apparently, our so if where on earth is Ezra Miller? Exactly. If what I've read <laughs> is correct, the, the girl is eighteen. Ezra Miller. The girl apparently, <laughs> it, it the girl is eighteen. The parents are claiming That's that he met her when, when she, she was, was twelve, mm. and that he was grooming her. That's what their That's what their allegations are. Now the problem also How comes where 
when the authorities are looking for you to serve papers and you're actively avoiding them and then sending memes on Twitter where you can't find me. I'm in another dimension. Do you think it's deliberate? He's in a white Bronco. Yeah, but do you think it's deliberate? Like, he knows that if he plays maybe a mental illness card long enough, it's going it it to get viable. him off for, it's, like, for statutory. It's plausible. I, I mean, <laughs> reading reading the articles of everything that's happening, even some of that is a is, is an absolute disaster. Uh, Ezra Miller himself, he came out as non, non-binary. So they're trying to use they, them. Which is the first sign of mental illness is what <laughs> Eddie is saying. Not, not Nelson or, or Ian. Or your not name. Nelson or Ian. Edward no. from the Sofa no, Kingdom I, podcast. I, or, your, or, your, or your Android. Don't, don't, specifically no, no, saying no, 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 if you no, come no, out no. as non-binary, <laughs> not, you're mentally what's ill. That? Number one is all. <laughs> oh, wait. No, no, Nelson's mind no, just no, cut out. Uh, my uh, bad. No, please no. continue. <laughs> Destroying the lives of hundreds or potential tens of hundreds. <laughs> no, it was. It was. It how, was. How old is Ezra Miller? Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. I didn't. I didn't look it up. But it, when I was reading the articles, there was a clear issue that people were trying to. They, they were trying to talk to, about him in the way he wished to be talked. So they're mm-hmm. trying to use they them, which in a bad sentence structure makes it sound plural versus. Singular, so sure. that as they're trying to describe that these two people are missing, right, and they're trying to point blame on Erza being kidnapped, the girl, it makes it sound like that they're willingly going off because they're using plural pronouns versus singular right, pronoun, right, right, and they're right. trying to do it. So there's parts where like they're using the them, and then they're using the him, and then they're right. going back and forth, and even in like two, it'll be two sentences back to back, like well that one's correct. This one's wrong, and then that one's correct, right. and this one's wrong, because everyone is still playing catch up with how They're to deciphering even deciphering the English that is being butchered, God, the, trying oh, to respect mm-hmm. potentially, uh, you know, a, a kidnapper or a sexual offender. Yeah. I, I look, I say this when it comes to reporting the news or making reports for allegations with something as serious as that, the facts it's have time to, to throw first. the bullshit out the window and you discuss things as they actually are. And fuck his feelings, right? Because he's gotten scarier. Him. He's gotten scarier yeah, since I, I mean, googled him last. Yeah, no, he's a scary. That's fuck. the Flash. That's that's they them. That's the Flash. Yeah, he is. That's a, the Flash. That's a necklace of skulls. He's yes. he he's a little strange. He's got he's a couple. He's got a couple assault charges on him now. Choking somebody. And apparently there was some other charges when he was younger that that have come to light of other assault charges he and, and me. everything he's getting, else. He's getting his wrist broke. So he, so you know what? That, that, that's what I'm saying. Like he may be playing this mental illness card if it's something that he's had priors in his past showing well, some kinds of well, instability. If they, have reco- if they have recorded conversations like with him, like when this girl was obviously under 18. I mean, some, they're saying in this case six years. Yep. Since she's been 12, then it's not going to be good. I mean, nope. he, he could definitely get. Uh, DC might be switching, and rightfully yeah. so. They might be. They might be. They might be well, wiping. so far DC and and they're getting a lot of flack for it. They're like, there was a whiff of an issue with Johnny Depp, even when all of the evidence was in his favor. You got rid of him, Bro, and even though dropped, all they... the evidence was against her. You kept her. We now have m- multiple bits of evidence against, against Ezra. Against Ezra, and now you decide that you want to stand by the person until. And it's like, if you would have done that for every case. Right. Then it's like, okay, for every case, you chose to stand by the person until the facts of the case came out, or you chose to immediately get rid of the person until the facts of the case came out. Yeah. But you keep bouncing back and forth, and every single time you're landing on the wrong side of history, yeah. it makes you look worse. And they really, I and mean, when they really fucking flip things over on Johnny, it's like, dude, you took Johnny away from like Captain, like, like him, yep. him as the head of Pirates of the Caribbean was like. That's it, a huge he, franchise. He is the Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah, dude, right? Like, One could say. Oh, my God. Yeah. That, that, that series is not going to do shit without him. No, like, absolutely yeah. not. People went to the theater to see Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow. Well, yeah. He's literally one of the greatest Disney characters ever created. He was so great that they put him in the ride of the Pirates yes. of the Caribbean at the end. Like, Disney added him Wasn't in. he in Kingdom Hearts? There was times where he would show up. I, so. I want to say Captain yeah. Jack Sparrow's in yes. Kingdom Hearts. There's, He's a time, video game there's times he would show up to the ride in character and actually be there at the end of the ride to greet the people. He's he, a, he's he, a G. When, when he's he was a filming, when he G. when he was filming, he would go into whatever local children's hospital yes. there was, dressed as the character, just to entertain the kids with cancer. Oh, That's he kept awesome. and you. 
drop him. <laughs> right. But hey, keep Ezra Miller, assholes. Yeah. No, I think Ezra. it's I think it's a case of in for a penny, in for a pound. Like yeah, the whole they decided movie is like filmed. we're yes. They they spent <clears throat> shit tons of well, money. Well, let's let's play let's play devil's advocate here, right? Always, we're always so everyone's always so quick, especially in this country. As soon yep. as someone gets accused, it's always like, "Oh, they're guilty. They're guilty." Right? There is no process like, and that's what happened with Johnny. As right. soon as ever, it was even a hint of abuse. Yep. Everyone was like, "Oh, right. he's a monster." His friends with Marilyn Manson, who is a monster, but you know, anyway. Mm-hmm. But um, they were like, <laughs> and people accepted him being a monster a long fucking time. Well, I, I was angry when they said Marilyn Manson was a monster, and they were, I was like, "You guys are just finding this out." Like, what yeah. The fuck? Like, when? Where it's, were you? In the nineties. Like, it's like, like it's like Joey Diaz. <laughs> Joey Diaz tells you, "No, this is who I am." <laughs> yeah. When the person is outwardly saying, "No, no, no, look, this is who I am," then you go. Okay, we understand this is who you are. Right. But they need to pick a side. Either you're getting rid of people immediately until everything comes down, or you're sticking with them until the case closes, but you can't keep trying to play both sides and hope to win and by landing on the right side of history. Right. right. That's what they keep doing, they and they sh- keep picking wrong. They, they shouldn't you- drop Ezra until we actually get a legal process, yes. but we should definitely halt stuff because you don't want sure. to put the Flash movie out and glorify it and all this bullshit. And then we find out that Ezra Miller has been molesting a child for the right. last five years. Yeah. That would not be a good look for DC. Would you, no. would you and guys, they can't take it. They can't take it after what they just went through with Aquaman and Amber Heard. Yeah. Would you guys mind if they took the film and did like a deep fake? And they put another face on the Flash. That might be rough. And then know. did voiceovers. I'm not excited for the Flash movie anyway because it's Ezra Miller. I mean, I, I mean that's, people, just, that's just me saying... Ezra Miller doesn't... People he are do looking right. for Dylan O'Brien to take over Flash. The kid from Teen Wolf, Styles. I'm going to do some okay. uh, The kid okay. from May... He, he also yes. was in uh, Maze Runner. Yes. He was yes. the lead in there. Dylan O'Brien? So, which, that was yes. another movie they shit the bed. Yep. Maze Runner was great the first movie. Mm-hmm. And then, I don't know what the... They tried to turn it into the Hunger Games but, for... Uh, uh, well, okay. Part he's, still, two, well, he's, still, he's still young looking. He, he's still yeah, young he's very young. young. Well, the, the, the hung, those are very much like the Hunger Games. It's based on books. Yeah. And it, it's one of the uh, older teen style of books. Sure, sure. But I think there is, there's always an issue when you're trying to translate the page to the screen sure. and whether you pull out the right parts to cohesively tell the story. Right. I mean, nobody's done it before Harry Potter. Uh, <laughs> Dune. Uh, you know, it's really, really Even, difficult, Lord of the Rings, yeah. when you're <laughs> making these adaptations, <laughs> Star Wars, of all these fantastic pieces of art. Yeah, well, no, yeah, well, no, I get it, I the, get it. When the, you're a shitty director, you can't <laughs> fucking get the job done. Well, that's 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 the sad thing. It's like these franchises now, they're so big that everybody wants a part of them. Yep, yeah, yes. But we are at the mercy of whoever they give the creative you know, licensing control to, to control to. You know? mm-hmm. and yeah. Sometimes they give it to someone who's a little fucked up, and then you know you get like the first Suicide Squad, and you get these like visions of yes. like things that are not what the fans. I, want. I think correct, I think correct. Part because of Harry Potter much liberty is taken. Now, when you look at like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, part of this is the success was how widespread those books were read. Mm-hmm. So a mm-hmm. lot of people that were going in to see it already had headcanon. So the you. pieces that were missing, you just kind of... I knew a girl with a headcanon. You just kind of fill in oh, on your own. Hold on, we just... <laughs> hold on a second. Hold on. Eddie, uh, I don't, I don't. I'm trying to roll what through exactly, it. What exactly... What are we talking about? I'm what exactly to roll through it. would you need a woman with a headcanon for? <laughs> what, are the, what are the practical uses of... <laughs> Define, define practical. <laughs> let's, let's, let's define. I'm let's, so let's, let's, let's do it. Anyway, you were saying yeah, yeah, the, wide, no, the widespread, the widespread <laughs> reading of these books. Yes, yes. the and, widespread meaning of head cannon. <laughs> we're past this now. So All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't bring and, it up again. And, head cannon. <laughs> She's listening. <laughs> and then uh, also, oh, at least with... There is an actual she already <laughs> with Eddie, we just can't blow by this. It this sounds is, like she knows who she is. This is some Ezra Miller breaking news shit. Let's this is no Ezra Miller. Nowhere, Ezra Miller is nowhere near my head. <laughs> you keep the fuck out of Are you sure you don't want this they is, near your head? No, no, this, is, no. this is some different dimension no, shit no, right here. No. My head cannon devi- dis- defines as her, <laughs> hers, she. Is this a non-binary head No, cannon? I do not partake in non-binary head cannon. <laughs> I don't think I've ever not been. That I'm, not, that no, I'm, no, no, no. not that I'm knocking anyone that does. Yeah, not right, that there's right, anything wrong yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, listen. I just don't. To all the non-binary head cannon people we have offended, this is the first and last apology I'll ever make. <laughs> Ian is sorry. I am. 
I am. I'm very sorry. To all, the non- I'm not. <laughs> all the non-binary headcanon yes. folk. Yeah, you've offended a lot of people today. <sighs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we, each, we each have our day. We each have, we each our, have day. our day. We yes, each have yes, our day yes. when we play the villain. Some more than others. Um, <laughs> but when you're talking about the Harry Potter, she was very the the writer was very involved in the movies as well. Mm-hmm. And even then, the people that were heavily into the books, they they almost pick and choose like, oh, movie one, two, and three, book four and five, the first half with right. movies like. And then it, it, it's come to the point where almost the two have merged. The bits that were missing in the movie that were in the books, people put in. And the bits that were in the in the books that weren't. So it, it's it's literally taking on its own kind of timeline life where it's like, oh, this piece that that contradicts the book. Well, we're going to go with the book for this and this piece in the movie that uh, but we're going to go they're, with this. They're picking and choosing what to believe and what. Yeah. And how so. The plays so. Out. Okay. So. But even then, she's uh, J.K. has gone through and fixed. Things like this, like yeah, okay, that should have been this, that should have been this. Right. Well, so it smoothed out the issues that that she come got, along. She got super like political and involved after she wrote the books. Like right. when yeah. she became J.K. Rowling, this figure, like one of the richest women in the well, world. Well, everybody mm-hmm. was happy about her political leanings when they agreed with her political leanings because right. she has no issues with people that are gay and non-binary right. and all of that kind of stuff. So there are those characters in the books. Right. Albus Dumbledore being a main character is actually gay. Grindelwald yeah. is someone she, from she his pu- past. She pushed him as super gay, though, yeah. as soon as she, as soon as she started writing these the, new books. Her, right. her biggest by the way. issues came... <laughs> There's no by the way. Her, her biggest issues came when, when she said... Because it, it was... Tread carefully. People conflating... <laughs> Or Gender don't. and sexuality and pronouns and all that and and she's like, well, in science, X X is this, X Y is this. When you're looking at science, so facts. So when she looked at exact, so when yes. she points out the scientific fact is this and this, people were like, no, right. You were you, you can't were the cho- science in Hogwarts. You were the chosen one. Yeah. You had gay characters that, and nobody cared. Right. You had black characters interacting with white characters, and that wasn't oh, the no issue kidding. with any <laughs> of the world. None of the things that were the issues in our real world she had were issues in your humans. world, and that wasn't the issues. It was very much like Star Trek, where the issues in between the characters weren't between the main characters, and wasn't between their race and their gender and all of that. It was between like. Oh, um, the goblins versus, you know, the mages versus, right. oh, um, blood purity. So it wasn't, it was, it was there, but it wasn't A as the way it was yeah. in the real world. They, it was very much done the way Star Trek does it, where right. it was kind of there, but out by the means of outside sources. I'm still waiting to see, and this is going to be a big one, is how Amazon does this Lord of the Rings thing. I'm hearing I mean, good things. There's so, much, there's so much money and so much resources, and Jeff Bezos has allocated so much stuff towards it. Yeah. This could be like the biggest or the like shittiest show yeah. Yeah. Like of the, of the next decade. I think, I think they're going to do a good job with it. And taking a page from Halo, right, which yep. is a... A large property that's just been taken over. Paramount. There was some really good things with it, but there were some things that were like, uh, eh, people weren't happy about. But they were yeah. like, hey, listen, we're coming into season two. We hear you. We're going to make adjustments. We're going to fix things, and we're going to get back onto track, hopefully more so for the people that are really watching the show. And so I think as long as they have that kind of an open mentality where it's like, here's the thing we're putting out. Yeah. But and I believe, we want to stay true to the original uh, uh, storylines that were yeah. kind of set in place to the guidelines, if right. you will. Well, it's one of those things where stories. they had the chance because they, they were given, like, you will get X number of seasons and mm-hmm. X number of episodes. So they timelined out X number of seasons and episodes. So they re- so in their mind, they're like, all right, we have the chance to tell the story this way because we know we'll at least get to here. Right. Um, so I, I, I think it ended up being less action oriented in the first season because they were going to lean on that into two and three. Mm-hmm. So it was more like world building, character building, and then we're going to get into... Right, because you have to introduce the characters to people who don't it's, know It's the like franchise. Stan Lee said, every comic book could be somebody's first. Right. That yeah. little first page blurb of what happened in the previous Rest in that, peace, that that really gives people away. So even though a lot of people know Halo, 
not a lot of people that are know the backstory. watching it necessarily. Even play the game even people know. that play the game, how many people do you know that just hit B and skip the fucking cutscene and just and they, jump and they forward. treated it like every first person shooter, exactly. not not dump, jumping into all the lore and all right, the, yeah, right. And, and I that, knew, I knew tons of people that would just jump right into the online shooter. Yeah, They're never like, and never the play the story Dude, at all. There's fucking lunkheads out there that just jump into Skyrim and just pick a blunt weapon and go me hit shit. Like, they, don't, <laughs> like, they don't read any of this. Like they don't dive into. The, I'm sorry. They don't dive into. The, <laughs> they don't what? dive into the Dwemer lore. Like <laughs> yeah, no. Morrowind. I'll tell you what. Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind. Holy fuck! Mm-hmm. I was like. I was like Indiana Jones. I was like <laughs> shitty ass e- regular Xbox graphics. I'm like reading st- griffs on the wall. I'm like, oh god. This okay, is, wait. This is the Dwemer ruin. So, like, you know, <laughs> so let me muzzle, muzzle fact. Like, let me know, ask like, you guys because I know I have. Did you read the little books that you find along yes. the way? Yes. yes. I, would, yes. I would at, at minimum <laughs> all the skill books, yes. all fifty of them. Skim, yes. yes. At, at Dude, minimum, I, skim through them and see yeah. if there's anything interesting to worth reading. Because yeah. often you can tie shit together and you'll yes. read, and you'll read something else or you'll bang into a character. You'll be like, I know you, like, you like, bitch. <laughs> I know you. Yeah. It's been foretold. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So no, and it's cool one. when a game creates lore like that. And then sometimes it's it's maybe a little bit too much. I know. When I was playing The Witcher Three, mm-hmm. like I'd be reading stuff, and like you'd pick up a book or something, and you'd find something, you'd be reading, and bro, you'd be twenty pages in, you'd be like, "Wait a minute!" Wait, wait, wait. My, my was, biggest, I thought I was playing. Like, a video now game. I'm reading about the Polish fucking like <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the uprising of 1549. My, like, my biggest minute, gripe <laughs> is when they don't have those things narrated, mm-hmm. because if you play Diablo, every scroll, every book, everything you pick up. It automatically just starts being narrated, and then you continue on with your journey. God bless Deckard Cain. I, I could listen to that man, that old man in that yeah, village, narrate that would be, anything. That would be so much better in Elder Scrolls if you pick up the book, and then it just starts narrating. Yeah. Put it down, then you and just then you keep go. thieving in whoever's house you're yeah, thieving yeah, in, yeah. and you just keep moving okay. along. Diablo is so good at that. You arrived at the village of Tristram. Here's the thing about you narrating. You can't carry anymore. And this, is, this ties into <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. The voice of Earl, what's James Earl Jones? James Earl Jones <laughs> is actually being simulated. Well, right it's now. being okay. it's being assisted. It's not full simulation like they did with Val Kilmer. <laughs> it's a partial to make his voice sound younger. Yes, I heard his name. <laughs> <laughs> As it was We're give when they first did all. the movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, for sure he. Uh, and it sounds good. It doesn't sound bad, but I it's was believable. surprised. It's believable. You can, you can tell it's not in full force like it was in the, the other yeah. like adorations he did. But yeah. you know. But now that you know it's Hayden Smith, it's like, that voice doesn't really... I know it's a voice yeah. box, but Bro, it's just like... How are they going to try to make uh, uh, Hayden Christensen look like fucking... He's young in that one fight scene. Oh, bro. He was old as fuck. I'm like, that dude is 47. Yeah, like, he is like, not a paddle listen, on. Listen, you need some CGI on that bitch I'm right I'm surprised now. that they didn't. Dude's, dude's got, they didn't Mark Hamill him and young him down. Dude, no. Instead, they put, like, he's got, like, bags under his eyes the size of my nutsack. I'm like, dude, look at that fucking guy. There's no way yeah, he's yeah, a teenager. Well, yeah. There's no way. Yeah, no, there was no he way. He looks older than Ewan McGregor. Yeah. There's no, and I'm like, yep. oh, come he on. Older what are we than doing? Ewan McGregor. <laughs> Wow. I, I had some I had some fucking discrepancies with the last episode. I, I, Let's I, dive I, in. I, I mean, the cool thing was the way Vader just murked that ship. Yes, when, Yo. when he showed oh, yeah. when he showed the superiority of the Ford. Even George St. Pierre shared that on his Instagram. He's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ! And, I, like, <laughs> and his fight scene was fucking epic, dude. Yes. When he when he pulled when he pulled that down, and you, you see how different the force is. Like you see like Obi Wan going like, I can't stop. A child. This bitch was like, like Boing. Yeah. this dude's like, <laughs> this guy's like transport ship taking off. Yeah. No, he brings it down. Then he's like, these fucking ripping, rips it ripping apart. Ripping hunks oh. of starship <laughs> off with like with his. Giant magic! I was like, dude, no. He no, was a beast. He no. was a fucking beast. He and then when he beast. when he just tooled that friggin' chick, he's like going, bro. Yeah, yeah he's he's like, I'm not even taking out my saber. I don't need to even yeah. pull my lightsaber out. Like, he's like, what? MCA. Up to this point, up to this point in the cinematic Star Wars universe, that's probably the biggest display of dominance displayed yes. by Darth Vader. Second, and I loved it. Second, there was the ship scene. Yes, there, you can't forget uh, this Rogue One from Rogue One. Rogue Have one? you seen okay. this? I did see that. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, that was that was. Yeah, that he was fucked dark. some shit yeah. up. Now, that, that was fantastic. That, that scene was a, almost that was never a, happened. That was yeah. a they very that close last, I believe. Yeah. yeah, and they should have brought Wolverine into that scene. That would have just <laughs> it was like Wolverine fucking shit up on one side. Vader's fucking, and they just meet in the middle. And they were like, "I don't me," and then they just go. <laughs> I just, I'll tell you what. The battle scene, the battle scene in this episode had a little bit of cheese in it. I was it like, did. guys, I was like, you're fighting like the Civil War right now. I was like, yes. you're like yeah. from me to the like to the desk, like yes. just fucking shooting at each other. I was like, come on. Yeah. 
What's terrib- happening? They're they're already got their terrible aim. That's what happens. Yes. Yeah. But here's it's the other fact. Here's the on other both thing. sides, the, uh, the the rebel dudes couldn't shoot either. I was like, what the hell? Like, yeah. come on. You send the little girl to like. You, if you fuck up, child, we're all going to die. <laughs> oh, into the vent? Yeah. Here's my thing. Come Who on. built it? Someone built it. Yeah. Why did you build it in a place with a very vital wire that no one can get to? <laughs> I hope we have a child somewhere in the future that we can... St- I mean, what if we build power plants like that? Hey, the reactor is melting. Someone get a midget yeah, in here to yeah, fucking yeah, stick yeah, in the yeah, vent. Yeah, like, yeah. come See, on. You're, 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 you're neglecting the greatest way of making money engineering a problem to sell a solution. Whoever yes. made it clearly was as small as a child and knew when you need repair, you come into me. So, so it saying, was designed by an Ewok. I was going to say, it was it's built designed, by an Ewok. It was designed by Jawas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is there a Jawa in the building? <laughs> Fuck, Leia, you're next. That's you're right. next on the dock. Damn it. We need to, yeah. <laughs> they're really making her they're really make, I didn't know Leia's childhood was so I didn't know it was so yeah. turbulent I thought, I thought she grew up like a spoiled I, I have to tell you, the, you know? the, the kid playing the role she sells it though she does like, she right. is good I'm she not good. even mad at her like she's doing a good job she's seen aside yeah. she's, I'm very yeah. happy saving with everybody in the vent aside <laughs> chase scene that chase scene so horrific oh my God. but not her fault she's just acting and that, the fucking people that wrote it I blame you, motherfuckers. Yeah. You know what I mean? That and why did the... I mean, spoiler alert, but why did, like, the bad chick who got fake got the the Grand Inquisitor job, why did she wait till now to try to attack Vader? Like, she waited way too long. She Fuck did. yeah. Like, she should have been in that room while he was fighting the ship and then stabbed Last time him. I checked, he was in a Bacta tank at one point. Yes. Like, why are you... You're That's picking your, your time. times very shittily. You're doing a yeah. terrible job I think it. they're trying to sell... Fight him while he's not in his armor. The whole fear of Vader is that, like, even... An an incapacitated Vader is still a very <laughs> fucking dangerous Vader, but he's the most. He's argu- He's arguably the most dangerous, but he's yeah. definitely the most powerful. Well, he's yes. definitely the most prolific uh, Sith of all time. Yeah, everyone yeah. knows about Darth Vader. Yeah, I the think seven- there's. I think they're setting up like a, a double fight, like where now she's not she's quite heal. dead. She's gonna heal. An- She'll join up with Obi Wan. Well, she knows about Anakin now, and then they'll That's go after another. Thing not, not Anakin. Um, another about, thing that made me Luke. mad. You told me Vader didn't finish her off. Or How they, comes everyone else dies? Right. Right. This bitch gets impaled with a lightsaber. Impaled. A yeah. beam of superheated plasma. She's sitting there going, uh, uh, Yeah. Uh, yeah. For, my, for stomach, a, my stomach hurts yeah. a little for bit. For a second time, it looks like. Yes. Yeah, for a second time. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe she still has the hole there in that spot. But, but also, don't when, don't neglect it that the way well, they, they... Vader's looking a little soft. He's looking forgiving. The way they... Yeah, he's yes. looking forgiving. I, I would have offed her. I'd, the, have, I'd have throat crushed her. The way they make more Sith Head is cannon. by forcing them into anger and hate. It's like, oh, maybe he's looking like, you don't hate me enough. Fucking stab you again. Come again after me. Right, right. And then, like, they steal the the Grand Inquisitor, like, I'm going to take that title back. <laughs> <laughs> the Grand Inquisitor guy, he's fantastic. I, I love him. So he was playing dead the whole time just to <laughs> use her as a pawn. Yep. So the whole time, Vader knew. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which is why he even said, I like, what did he call her? He called her, um... Uh, he called her something while she was down. Like he called her Padawan. Yeah, he called her something. Youngling. Yeah. Youngling. Youngling. Yes. He yes. knew the whole time. The whole People, time. He's so gangster. The whole time he was raising her and training her. He's like, I knew who you were. Yeah, the whole time. He's, like, he's, he's gangster. He's gangster. People are neglecting that uh, Anakin was so powerful that he was throwing off the ability for all the other Force users to predict the future, and he was the only one still capable of predicting the future. Now. Did he play it wrong? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Uh, Because he let fear dictate his decisions versus using the guidance of those around him. But he still, if he's that strong, in which he looks like he is, then he is still plausibly getting glimpses of the future. Well, I know that Vader scene in this last episode had me me involved. I was like, woohoo! It was dope. dope. When he starts ripping metal apart, I'm like, I'm in. I'm in. The, the fight, scene, the fight scenes were great. I enjoyed the fight scenes all around. They definitely Mandalorianed it's, it. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's like, yeah. it's Obi Wan show, but Vader is saving it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the next show. Oh, man. Vader. Listen, they, I would love to see just like they, a they full might. on He's evil got his own comic. Vader type of shit. Right. But they can easily do more at Obi Wan because they're, because I, I believe that it, it is canon that um, Vader and Obi Wan eventually start having visions and kind of mental projection fights between each other. 
So they can have didn't Christensen they, like halfway as Vader and do, do more that? fight scenes where like well, his age doesn't make a difference now. Didn't they kind of do that? Um, uh, in this, the last episode, it was it was, it was conveyed. It, yeah, yeah, but that was more of something that happened in the past. Okay. So that's something that actually happened in between the two movies. All okay. Right. All right. I, I want to bring something up, and I want your guys' take on this. Well, you'll get my honest take. You know that. What about the the love story? That nobody wants to talk about. Oh, well. Now, I looked up her name. <clears throat> it's the character played by Indiria Varma. She's, um, she was from Game of Thrones. Uh, Tala Durith, the one that helped uh, Obi-Wan and a young Leia escape. You know, uh, she also played the bad, the bad lady kind of infiltrating. Is she the one that Hara on carried herself side. at the end of the last episode? Yes, yes, yeah. her. It appears she had a love affair with that robot, right? Because <laughs> as, as she was dying, the robot shielded her. Shielded her, and she's with its hand dying on her breath. chest, and she's looking deeply into it. There was a lot of unnecessary attraction. Eyes. There was. I was like, is this a robot <laughs> human love affair? Is this a non-binary? Who are we? As well, never, who are we? Who are never, we? Never <laughs> since Jordi LaForge have we seen someone love technology as much as her. Well, let's <laughs> put like, it this way. Maybe she, she's a cold lady. Uh-huh. She's a cold, calculating lady. She, mm-hmm. She's always invested in her mission, her mm-hmm. work. She doesn't mm-hmm. have time for no man. Mm-hmm. You know? How many women put a lot of emphasis on the toys and shit? Her, right. Her, 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 her best case, partner is someone who can't even communicate. Right. In this case, a man that can't Which talk, is ideal man, for a lot of people. A man that won't talk back. <laughs> this, this, and this, this toy isn't hidden in a drawer. It's right. walking around working in a warehouse. It can shoot. <laughs> it's gigantic. And he some, does have a job. He does have a job. And, and some women, some women like it rough. This is a giant power loading machine. I'm just saying, you know? What is he power loading? Yeah, All right. right, I get you. Know? you. He has a you. jackhammer tattoo on his right arm. <laughs> you know? I'm just saying. Like, I'm like she's yeah. looking over at Obi Wan and the robot. I see and she's it. like, I see yeah. it. I you see saw it. it, right? It wasn't just me. There yeah. was like, I was like, yeah. Are they? A they they thing? were. <laughs> like, just, how does this mechanical? The robot's love like affair? sending her signals like you tonight later. <laughs> <laughs> but she's like, she's looking back at Obi Wan with the grenade in her hand. She's like, Yeah, you're old. Yeah. I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Like, I much, just I just thought it was a uh, interesting. I, I am all to for behold. interhuman robot. You know, it's like it's 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 you know, it's a robot. Well, you know it's, what? I'm I, sure they appreciate I, it. I'm with it. I'm with it. It's just like it's she she definitely Captain Kirked that robot. Like, we're yeah. twenty years <laughs> away. Hey, we're twenty years away from this. Yeah. <laughs> with the way shit's gone with Tesla, Amazon, Google, I don't we're know twenty we're, years away from some kind of AI. I mean, there's going to be people showing up with their nine binary, we got, we got people, tattooed cyberpunk girlfriends. We in a we years. got people marrying these sex bot robots already. I mean, like yep. in Japan, wasn't there like mm-hmm. a man who legally married? I his, guarantee you. Well, what, he married. It's it's a it's a it's a it goes on your desk and it makes a three D projection of a AI. The com- got, unfortunately, got, he will. I think he's getting a divorce because the company shut down. It's got a hole so like he's maintained it. for three years with uh, the thing that no longer essentially works. But I think it's I think it's over it's now. It's too much for him to handle because <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> Couldn't he like figure a way to tie it into like an Alexa or something? There's a lawsuit. <laughs> you can you can if they release the source code, but most companies don't want to release their source I'm, code. I'm calling it right here. Jeez, one, one of our grandkids in this room. One one of our grandkids is going to fucking Andrew. Not my family. Because <laughs> uh, he said that? Because he said that. Not my family. Because he said that. I'm saying. I'll yeah. come back from the grave like. <laughs> <laughs> One of your grandkids. You're going to be dead now. So you're not the... <laughs> <laughs> when they're down, you walk over them like. Just for. You got to give a couple extra buck shots like. You ain't you ain't going to fucking come back on me like some Darth Vader shit. No. <laughs> I'm I got it. the high ground, bitch. One of our, one of our, one of our grandkids is going to tag a robot. I'm calling it right now. It's happening. All I'm saying the future is, is spooky. All I'm saying is I ain't going out like that. I'm like, <laughs> you disgraced the family. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, no. Fuck, man. Yeah, it might solve a lot of problems for a lot of these people that are like lonely recluses and stuff mm-hmm. like that. It might actually Listen, solve uh, a lot of their on issues. some real shit. If you could afford like a, a, a really expensive artificial being to live with you and you know they did that there was actually and bring it back to the famous show series that you don't want to talk about firefly yep <laughs> firefly <laughs> there's a guy called mr universe yep in the movie serenity mm-hmm. and he's married to essentially like the best version of a s- partner bot okay yeah and like she stays on the couch she talks to him she knows him has 
speech and everything. And it's like, that's the future that people predict a lot. Where it's like, right. here's this lonely reclu recluse of a man who's like, supposedly like the best hacker in the galaxy. Yeah. And he, so he, he doesn't want a real life person. Went, yeah. he, wants an he, AI. he essentially lived off grid, but he was monitoring all communications everywhere. So he was like on the government, on regular people. He right. was like, I just want all the knowledge. When are we, uh, when are we, Gonna create love bots like Lex. Remember that show? <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one. <laughs> it was on the Sci-Fi Channel. Yeah, yeah Sci-Fi yeah. had a lot of bad Sci-Fi before I, they before they went from Sci-Fi to Sci-Fi. They had this one when they show changed Lex. the whole thing. They had this yeah, one show bad. Lex, and there was this like there was this, like it was she was like a love bot or something like that. But the Swedish chick with like the dyed red hair. See thing now that they picked to play her, I was like. I'm on board. But I don't give. I don't give a fuck. I don't like, if that's the love bot. I don't give a fuck if her but, if her bodily fluids are toxic. I am a dead man. So, I so, am fucking dead. But what if it looked like Bender from Futurama? Well, that changes the game. That changes the game. Let's see. If that's Fire gonna be a stiff hand. <laughs> Firefly had what was called companions. They legalized prostitution, right. but they also had a cure for all venereal diseases. Oh, right. well, okay. So, I mean, <laughs> hurry up with that. <laughs> it seems like a win-win situation. Yeah. <laughs> Please hurry up with that. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm I'm done. I'm done with that. They should probably that. legalize that. It definitely make I mean, Amsterdam has legalized it. Yep. They actually make a lot of money tax-wise. The safety for the people involved. Safety for all the people mm -hmm. involved. It's also the world's oldest profession. Uh, uh, Oldest profession. At a certain point, people have to stop I'm not, pretending. I'm, I'm not jumping in on this conversation. Oh, I'm in on it. <laughs> you, you, you guys a over long, there. Long time you ago, guys. <laughs> a long, long time ago during the barter system, someone came up to somebody who had something. And, like, and they said, Japan. what do you have there? Japan. And the guy said, I have this. The person wanted that, but they had nothing to pay for it. And they said, I'll fuck you for it. <laughs> and thus and so began the, and thus began the first <laughs> profession of prostitution. No, it I, wasn't farmer. It wasn't the mar it was a baker. No, no, I believe LL Cool J said it best since you said farmer. Farmer's wife. Farmer's <laughs> wife. <laughs> I don't even believe those are real lyrics, but I, I believe they you. should be. You heard it. Farmer's wife, farmer's wife, LL Cool I mean, J. I was coming from another angle of People needing to stop. Of course stop. you were coming from another <laughs> angle. <laughs> people needing to stop ignoring the fact that other people are going to do certain things, whether it's alcohol, yeah. cigarettes, marijuana, opiates. Firearms. People are going to do things whether you want them to or not. Right. The only thing you can do is make it as safe as possible yeah. and try to help the people who's dependent on those items get out of control. Right. That's really the only thing we can do because some people are just wired differently yeah. and they can yeah. handle everything under the sun, no problem. And other people, one time, and it's a fucking straight well, to the gutter right. for the rest of their life. And they, they just, they need a, a hand to be picked back well, up. Well, look at history. Look at Prohibition. They yeah. outlawed alcohol. That, that was a fucking good, worked. That was a good idea. Yeah. yeah. You built the Kennedy fucking family by doing that. I Thanks. mean, marijuana is outlawed because some asshole owned trees, a paper mill, and a newspaper went. That's my competition. Fuck everybody else. Whatever is whatever else it could do, I have trees and a newspaper. We can't have hemp. Well, yeah. they outlawed opium. They also outlawed opium, and they outlawed marijuana because they needed to get rid of all the Chinese and Spanish workers throughout the Midwest after the yep. Depression. Sorry. sorry, I am appalled. I'm most, sorry. Most I hate to say it. <laughs> most drugs that were outlawed were not outlawed because the drugs were dangerous. It was outlawed because somebody else had power. And those things would remove their power. Sounds familiar. Right. Jeff Bezos. The U.S. government. <laughs> the U.S. government at work. God bless America. Oh, and I think I told you guys, Jeff Bezos, and I don't know when it was acquired. It was just an article that I read is that they have acquired GM Studios because he has been talking about seriously doing more in the movies and yep. the TV shows, especially for the Amazon. If you would have heard what he said about him wanting to do Lord of the Rings thing, he he's all on board, he's, dude. He's on he's, board. He said, I, he said, I want this to be the next Game of Thrones. He even said, I am prepared to throw a billion dollars at it. He's going to throw a billion dollars at this show. Yeah. Well, they were now yep. talking about, we talked about it, I believe, on the last episode, Stargate yeah. franchise. But what was interesting to me is, like, most of his success came from... SG one, SG one, but it came from that's a movie. the one I heard of. It came from a movie with Kurt Russell. Yep, the original Stargate. The original Stargate. It was Egypt. Yes, yes, yes. and yeah. but then the show kind of took on its own life. Aliens. Yeah, it, the show took on its own life, and it was fantastic. I yep. loved all of it. 
But they're actually, instead of going into the series, they're talking about a theatrical release of another Stargate movie. So I don't know if they're, oh, they're going to wheel out Kurt Russell. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can only wheel out Val Kilmer. Oh, um, damn it. Damn it. I do it. I do it for the people. I do it because I love you guys. I do it for the people. <laughs> so somewhere in some Egyptian space where the aliens are, are there and they're the Gua'uld, there's a Val Kilmer that they <laughs> wheel through the sand. So you need special tires for that sand tires, gentlemen. Sand, sand tires. tires. Yep, yep, they yep. do have them available. Or you could float them. Just, we, just we have alien technology. Look at the Mars rover. They got the right tires. We can make them. So yeah. float Val Kilmer out. <laughs> On like a Harrier. Air. Stick a Gua'uld inside him and bring him back to life. A Gua'uld. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> no, but I would love to see a theatrical release of a second movie of Stargate um, and then going back into another series. Are they going to... Um, well, the, the question would be... I don't think you be, can rewrite it. I don't think you can if they're gonna it. If they're going to try to... Make a second movie to lean more on the movie style timeline mm -hmm. versus what they did with the show. That's interesting. That's interesting. Because the, in the movie, because O'Neill, they, they even deliberately spelt his name wrong between the movie and the show because the O'Neill in the movie was more uh, suicidal. Yes. Is 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 the way they described it. He really was like, I'm already done. I'm gonna let myself die for this mission. Right. Because his child had died. Right. And it Where was in the show his fault. Well, explain they, a little more. They why. softened that. Oh, uh, handgun. Right. So his son had found his handgun and it wasn't locked away properly and had shot himself. Wolf. Yeah. So here's so a man he that's had, being sent on a suicide mission with. Yeah. They, Every intent yeah, of dying. Out. Yeah, they needed someone to lead a suicide mission. So they're like, here's a guy who's already on on this on path. Out, yeah. Right. We'll right. we'll we'll let him do what he needs to do because at the end of the day, they they it was kind of like this is this is the only option we see. Right. And someone has to be there to do it. And he seems pretty willing. Right, because, you know, the answer to every U.S. government is, Big we don't bomb. understand it, send a nuke. <laughs> <laughs> because nuking it is the yeah, answer. That's so, the feeling out process. Yes, yeah. exactly. But you know what? Stargate did touch on some of it they a little did. lighter as the show progressed because they had to address this whole thing uh, with O'Neill and the character from the show and the character that was in the movie. And I think they did an excellent job yes. addressing it. Um, it was one of those shows that can easily flip from a very serious tone to a very light and funny tone. Mm -hmm. And um, I enjoy a show like that. But I'm really curious, like what you're saying, will they tether on the first movie and go from there and build the lore there? Or will they go from the TV show? I think there's... I mean, as they long have, as they don't try to rewrite the whole thing, I hate, I hate fucking prequels. They have, I hate them. They hate have them, two hate points them. to jump off of because they can... Either jump off of from where Atlantis ended or from where Universe ended. I think you got to go from Universe. But if you go from Universe now, are you trying to bring those characters back? No. Or are you new characters? You can you could tie into an old premise with new characters. And I think speaking of it, Star Wars has decided to do this moving forward. They said we are no longer going to lean so hard on the like the 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 characters that everybody loves so much. And yeah. moving forward we're going to be introducing more new characters and telling new story. A little I less, a little less fan service. I think is a great idea. I think you know you could do like an Obi Wan series, like a one off, and do a Vader series, a one off, and feed when's, feed the fire. They can't, there's, there's, when's, when's the Jar Jar spinoff coming? Ugh, there, there are giant chunks of time that are missing in there that they could really, <laughs> that they could expand upon. If you made, sorry, if you made Kevin Hart. Jar Jar Binks in Ooh. an upcoming movie. And make him a Sith Lord. Make, and him, make Sith. him the Sith Lord. Do it. Go super fucking evil. Red eyed but, Jar Jar. Just like <laughs> but, but, but also funny. Like he's like, ah, 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 everybody thinks I'm an idiot. And then slashing heads off <laughs> with lightsabers. I'm like, I'm all for evil, mysterious Jar Jar. Clan. You find out that like Jar Jar is the one that sold out like Anakin's mom to the <sighs> Tuscan Raiders See, and stuff. See, when they did, Bro. we're so sorry, Annie. Bro. We had to make evil. Yeah. When they, <laughs> <laughs> they had to make evil. I'm with it. Well, they they made it look like this girl is who's gonna sell out that Luke is on that planet. She just learned that Luke is on the planet at the end of this last episode. But I don't think she sells him out. I think maybe it. Uh, don't forget by accident. her goal is to get to Vader by any means necessary she has no problem with trying to kill Obi-Wan if it gets her close enough to Vader to kill Vader but, so I don't think she has a problem with using Luke she, as a point 
to get to but Vader. She is consumed by perhaps, vengeance. Okay, perhaps. But I, like like Ian said, she had so many other opportunities. She's already been close to Vader for years, and the time she chooses to attack him was it's just the worst. horrid. She was like two minutes She's like, too oh, late. this dude's all fired up, and he just ripped the spaceship apart with his hands. I'm going to sneak up behind yeah. him. Like, and Obi-Wan, like, yeah. to me, he was giving her like a, hey, let's fight him together. Yep. Which to was me, her best option. Which was her best option. And I'm she sorry, didn't want it's to. It's her best yeah. option. I mean, and Obi Wan knows a thing or two. He went against Darth Maul, you yes. know. And I mean, shit. And he like, knows about look, attacking dangerous opponents. Yeah, and then they had like little Leia in the background. She could have like pew pew pew. Something, pew, pew. sure. Yeah. Some I mean, I'm sure Vader probably would have broken your neck with his finger, but you know, I'm just <laughs> saying, like, it's worth a shot. You got to throw everything at the man. I love seeing just a nasty Vader. I just I enjoy it, and I hope they don't. Well, they can't. They can't really do that whole like he's a villain, but he's kind of good. No. Keep my villains villains. No, he's a villain. No, Keep he's my a villain. I believe villains. I believe he stays like this until he discovers that Luke and Leia are alive. Are his children. That's when. That's the flip. That's the flip where the conflict happens, and, and he become. That's when he actually becomes vulnerable to be defeated. Right. Yeah, I love it. I love I love seeing the, the fucking nasty evil fucking Darth Vader. As all things should be. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry. If you're a Sith Lord, you got to be grimy, man. You got to be evil. For you gotta, sure. You know, you got to murder children. You got to yeah. do. You got to do all the things I mean, a Sith they, does. They got. Right. They got to do an Inquisitor show next. I like that the character. The guy that's he's, playing the Grand Inquisitor. They got to give him some more. I'm time. I'm so glad he's back. Because yes. like when he when he got off like that, I was like, that's the bitchest way of like. Oh like, yeah. yeah. This and guy so, shows up. He's all intimidating. He gives a big Quentin Tarantino speech in the first episode. He's got a spinning lightsaber handle. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, this is a great Bad character. Motherfucker. Yeah. This is a great character. And then when he got killed, I was like, this show just lost yeah. 20 <laughs> points. Like, no. And, like, and, like, and no. that was one of the things that you saw people angry about online. But it's like, he's alive in the cartoon to take places after these episodes. Like, yes. Yes. You mm -hmm. gave yourself your answer. He's alive in the cartoon that takes place after these right, episodes. Right, So clearly, Keep watching. not... Yes. Dead. Well, people Keep don't watching. give the show enough time to be like, aha, plot twist. Yeah. You know, like, enjoy the fucking well, show. Because they're sitting at home with the Taco Bell grease on their tits and the cheese puffs in their belly button. <laughs> and they just go, oh, that wouldn't happen. And so they just, they pull out their wheeling fucking keyboard and they start writing <laughs> a blog about this. Like, just watch and enjoy. Just let the show I mean, roll out. I've, I go on here and I express my shit that I'm upset about, but I don't blog or post about no, shit. No, That's yeah. not what I, I'm, I'm going to watch it. Okay, right. fine. Give me your interpretation of it. Like, And, and a lot of Sometimes we're joking, but like we are watching intently. Yeah. Like, hey, we know there's gonna be a bigger thing unveiling. Yeah. Allow yeah. it to. Unveil and I hate itself. to do it, but I do eat a plate of shit every now and then and apologize. <laughs> I have a, I have apologized to uh, to Steven Seagal. No, I apologize to Dustin Hoffman because he did not play Koopa. Remember, <laughs> I, in a much earlier episode, it was Dennis Hopper. It was Dennis Hopper. I fully apologized to Oscar winner Dustin Hoffman. I All was right. like, I'm sorry, you were never in the Mario Brothers yeah, right. movie, but you should have been. <laughs> you should have been. Yeah, yeah it, it might have been. It might have saved it. it. Could have saved, saved the franchise. No, have we you, could be on CGI Super Mario. Mario. You could not save that. We could be on Super Mario 36 by now. You know what I mean? You, you never know. Not save you never that. know. <laughs> but, but, and I also apologize, I apologize to Miss Marvel recently. Yes. I said it was a very good show. And even the last episode, especially when the musical broke out, and I thought of you, um, I, I, I am enjoying the show. I'm okay. enjoying the direction here's, they're going with here's it. Where, I'm still on board. Here's where I can allow a momentary musical. Okay. When they were full out singing Bollywood in the kitchen, is like, Bollywood is a very... Yes. The dominant thing in the Indian culture. So, therefore, the dancing is acceptable because it is absolutely a big part of their culture. It's a and part of their culture, so and it's a part of the way they do their shows and movies. Going into it. Bali, hi, yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. I don't know if those were words. They were words. <laughs> <laughs> if they were appropriate words. <laughs> Don't, don't worry, but, YouTube will tell us when I but, try to upload. Right, yes, when you right. try to force <laughs> feed me a non... <laughs> a joker with a fucking musical. I draw the line, people. We're going to see it line. together. We're going to see it together. No Margot Robbie and it's a musical? That's two fuck-ups. We're going to see it together. Two. All I will, oh, okay, you know what? I told, I told Ian in private. Oh, wow. Here we go. If he watches Firefly, I will go see the Joker musical <laughs> with him. I will sit next to him in the movie theater that's and watch I, that's, this that's in not, real that's, time. That's not what I want. Though. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I want you to sit through three hours of Les Miserables. Oh, boy. Hugh Jackman. I, I, Russell Crowe. Just, I'm, I'm, I, Eddie just in case your Spanish is missing that word, I believe it means the miserables. Yes. Which is what everybody is <laughs> at the end of the fucking movie. 
Why go I, to a movie for the pure art of depression? Oh, yes. I want to be depressed today. Let me watch Les Miserables. It's the French Revolution. Have you, Revolution. List? Have you Nobody was happy. List? No, I know oh, the story. I don't want to be that, more that's depressed. such a good movie. It Jesus is. Christ. Oh, my God. That's such Listen, a good movie. as far as sad and depressing and historical, <laughs> it, and just... A masterpiece of a movie. Yes, I'm Schindler's absolutely Steven Spielberg, sure it is. How Steven Spielberg shot the whole movie in black and white, Listen, except for the girl's red dress. The only thing, oh my that, god, the only thing that comes similar and comp, uh, incomparable to something like that, because also historical, is Band of Brothers. Yeah, I did see Band of Band Brothers. of Brothers to me when I watch <laughs> that. Like, I mean, listen, grown man. Sometimes when you hear the the the, the veteran speaking at the end of or be, in the beginning, it, yeah. yeah, I believe it was. Man, it, it, it touches you in the field. You're like, oh, yeah. fuck. There's, there's people that have been through the shit. Yep. The worst of humanity. Yeah. It's the like worst. Well, Saving Private Ryan, too, is another one. That one will yeah. fuck you up. That's, that's, that's a good that, That's That, in my opinion, is still like yeah. the best depiction of have war. Have you seen The Pacific? I have. Yeah. I've seen Band of Brothers, and I saw The Pacific. and like Pacific was kind of disturbing. It was so well done. It was so well done because because they just they interviewed the – the yeah. actual soldiers and then yeah. put yeah. their story like you know because yeah. what, what the hell is mm. the unit they're in the big red one like, yes. yeah I so. believe so mm -hmm. it's, it's been a while yeah. since I've seen it but but Schindler's List is definitely because Steven Spielberg being himself Jewish he said he wanted to portray the mm -hmm. horror of the Holocaust yep. as much as he could yeah and like if you're not ready when you go into that movie damn yeah like you gotta like especially if you see it with your kids like you yeah. gotta prep them because I watched yeah. that when I was in school and I remember just yeah. like in your history class, and all of a sudden, like that movie just takes a turn. Yeah, and like, you're like you literally fuck. You literally think you just saw someone get yeah. executed. You're yeah. like, what the fuck did yeah. I just like? They don't. Yeah. Steven they don't Spielberg pull no pulled punches. no punches. Yep. But now, and then at the end, when they show the actual survivors, dude. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Oh, but now, man. but now here uh, to take it a little further with Schindler's List. How about that episode of Jerry Seinfeld where? He was making out with his girlfriend oh, no. during Schindler's List. <laughs> yes. no, no. And the uncle seen him or what no no, it wasn't the uncle, it was um Newman. Yeah. <laughs> he sees them making out and he goes to tell his Jewish parents. Yeah. He's like, Oh, I seen Jerry the other day at the movie theater. It's like, oh, what movie? Schindler's List. Mm. Oh, what a great movie. Yes, too bad he was making up <laughs> with his girlfriend in the middle of Schindler's List. And I was like, the whole premise of the episode that is, was... Yeah, that's definitely on the top ten list of, of movies darkness. you <laughs> don't want to make out during. But what was like, happening was... Schindler's it... List, The Exorcist. I'm trying to think, like, what movies you don't want to hook up to. All like, right, what the let's hell? end the episode with this. Name one movie you do not, or TV show, you wouldn't want to hook up with, and we can't say Schindler's List. Because we've already discussed it. Something oh my gosh. So a movie that's something inappropriate more, or not like inappropriate, okay. disgusting, just something you a movie you shouldn't be at making oh. out with your girlfriend in public. Human centipede. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I think Ian just won. Congratulations, uh, sir. I mean, that's I was saying. That is, not to, that not was to, that was good. Not to yuck anybody's yum, <laughs> but I'm just saying. Depending on what you're into, that one could be a fucking mood killer. I mean, I don't know. I mean, fuck. Eddie, uh, you, Kevin you Smith's Tusk. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Damn. Oh, fuck. Damn. Oh, man. It's, I don't know if it's as good as Human Centipede, but it's, it's still it, bad. It's right there. That's it's right bad. There. All right, all right. That's, the, that's the one where the. Like, the There's some toe. Walrus. Yeah. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not yeah. a good one. Okay. <laughs> that's right. not a good one. I got, I, got, I got mine. Google that one. Don't Google that. Don't. <laughs> Google don't Google, Google, don't Google, Google images. Google both don't of them. Google images <laughs> any of those movies. For the love of God. All right, for me, I would say, and I haven't seen it, but just knowing the premise of the movie, I would say The Hills Have Eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not something you take your honey boo boo to. That's another one you, you start got to make. That's out to another that one. Boy. Wes Craven created the original. <laughs> me being a hard buff. Me being a hard buff. Wes Craven created the original, and I will say this the, the new rendition, the one that came out in like uh, yeah. the 2000s. Oof, that's another one you got to get yourself mentally prepped for if you oh. go see it. That's and on that note, disturbing. <laughs> cue the music. Woo! Thank you for joining us at the Sofa Kingdom Podcast, where we tell you important information like don't make out with your girlfriend during Schindler's List, <laughs> The Hills Have Eyes, Human Centipede, Human Centipede, or <laughs> Tusk. Or Tusk. <laughs> Follow us for more fun informational facts at <laughs> Sofa Kingdom OFC. <laughs> See all the ridiculous, ridiculousness, ridiculousness, Sofa Kingdom podcast. Ian.
Hey, like, share, comment. You know, get us out there. We yes. appreciate you guys listening. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we do this. This is why we get together. It's for the love of the game. Yes, it's not just for our own mental health, but for yours as well. Yes. Now, speaking of mental health, let's go watch Les Miserables and go get the press together, right? <laughs> Fuck that. I'm only watching that if he watches Firefly. Maybe. He's got to we'll go see. first because the Miserables. Les Miserables. Is something I don't want to see. <laughs> the Miserables. It's a, great, oh, it's a great movie. Wonderful. It's a great film.